What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Sound Attack once again. And yes, you may see that the lines look different in the QuakeCon build, along with, of course, the color of the coolant. And there's good reason for that. We're going to talk about it right after this. Welcome back. So today I wanted to go over a couple things that I learned from this build in particular. Uh, revolving around leaks you may encounter during, of course, water cooling a build. And what it comes down to is going to be the components you choose right off the bat. Now, I did use a Baisaki blocks, both on the CPU and the GPU, and that was probably the cheapest portion, and I would have thought that we would have failed there. However, where we failed was a little interesting because it was on the CPU block, and from the looks of it, the tubing turned yellow and then shrunk and hardened, and then a leak developed coming out of the CPU block, which then in turn took out the GPU. So the GPU completely fried, and this is a brand new R9 Fury Nano, unfortunately. Now, what I did go ahead to and discover at the end of the day was a little bit of heat, of course, in this section, along with the distance between the block and the tubing. And then to top that all off, the thickness of the tubing itself, I think all came together to develop this leak and this problem. So to resolve it, you'll notice that we made quite a few changes. Ignoring this down here, but off of the blocks, we put an extension to push the tube further away from where the heat will be being developed. And then that way, hopefully, the tubing itself is a little bit more protected than it might have been previously. The next thing we did is we went with an eight millimeter uh, inner diameter as opposed to a 10 millimeter inner diameter with 12 millimeter outer diameter tubing. And that's where I think the biggest change is. In the past, I've always used the 12.8, and in this build in particular, is the first time I ever went to a 10 or a 12.10. Now, in theory, you would say, okay, well, I'm getting more flow, so I'll get better temperatures, so on and so forth, but it's just frankly uh, not worth it. And if you have a D5 pump, I think you're gonna be completely fine, like this Alpha Cool one here. I was a little nervous about the motherboard being taken out, but it's not, and we're up, and we posted, and all the temperatures seem fine. <sighs> but it was an ordeal, and I thought I'd share with you guys a couple of the things I learned. And I think the biggest thing that I'm going to always implement is going with a thicker tubing. That way I won't have to worry about the heat. And then I'm always going to put at least a small extension coming off of the blocks from here on out, at least if I'm going with the 12 millimeter outer diameter. It could also be that that tubing in particular that I got wasn't good tubing on top of it. Really, if, if the tubing warms up like that, it shouldn't shrink down, at least in my opinion. But some of that also in their defense could be uh, the different chemicals in the different dyes that have been in this system. So that portion I can't really test. As far as what we have in here now, we have the Pastel Blueberry, um, which looks awesome from Mayhem's. It's the concentrate, so you mix 250 milliliters with a, a 750 milliliters of distilled water, and then you'll get this result, which I think looks fantastic. On this tube bend here, um, this time, I didn't want to go and spend a ton of time on rebending it, so we do have a valve here, but you'll notice that we actually don't have a drain on it. The drain uh, is, is not here. What I usually do for the drain, to be honest with you guys, is I turn the rig upside down, I pull one off of the GPU block, and then I put on a soft tubing fitting, and then I hook that up, flip it back over, and then dump, dump it that way. Honestly, that's how I do it. Uh, with this particular rig. Um, the reason this is here is I actually don't have a female to female extension currently, uh, an extra one, because I wanted to use the female to female extension uh, to go ahead and push this tube out. But this, in the long run, I think is something that I'm gonna go ahead and probably um, 
encourage replacing with a, a just a female to female and putting the two ends on and connecting these two lines. The reason this is easier than say making the bend here and then coming all the way up is we were going to do another 90 here, but, and then that was going to make it a little bit more difficult. The other, <laughs> the true reason it ended up exactly like this is I'm out of this tubing currently because I think what we're going to do, obviously, as you guys can tell, um, is we're just going to run a straight blue line down to here now. And we just have the 90 coming off the bottom of the GPU block. But that's pretty much the whole story and why the build ended up like this. All of the tubing is redone uh, with 12 millimeter outer diameter and eight millimeter inner diameter. We had another leak up here in the corner, which I had to resolve. Um, it, we just replaced the O-ring and it, it seems to be holding uh, pretty well. And I'm confident that we're not gonna have any more issues. If you guys think that there's some other things I should consider down in the comment section below, let me know. I'm always, always, of course, interested in y'all's opinions and expertise on matters like this. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next Tuesday.